So, Liveflow first created a plugin to connect QuickBooks or Zero Data to Excel or Google Sheets. Made it super trivial to push accounting ledger data into your spreadsheets, even doing multi-company consolidations along the way. But what if you just, you don't want to fuss with spreadsheets anymore? What if you're building these spreadsheets for clients? They're just gonna break your formula. Stop scooching things around, Tom. Okay, check this out, a new launch. Dashboards from this video sponsor Liveflow. It's a demo day. I'm here in the platform. We're looking at dashboards. I'm going to make a new dashboard. Let's do it from a template. Lots of options here. I'm going to pick, uh, let's do this daily financial activity tracker. Get out of my way. Now, this is pretty cool. Like what we've already got here in the template. Each of these things you see here are what they call components. And if I drill into this cash one, we can see it's displaying as a scorecard. We can also give it a label. Cash hola. That's a Ricola joke. Bet you didn't expect to see that today, did you? Ricola. Okay, format, currency, that's what we want. Select the data. This is the balance sheet category that we wanted to pull that number from. Cash, that's fine. The amount to use should be the last amount for the period we selected. But if you look in here, why is it grabbing weeks? Look at that. October 6th through 12, 13 through 19. Why is it grabbing weeks instead of last month? Right here, our date range is the trailing 30 days. Well, every component by default inherits the report level settings. But if you want, you can customize each component individually. And individually. Let's hop back into Cashola. Under advanced settings, balance sheet, you can see the date range is set to custom. For just this component, we're using the trailing two weeks. That's why in the drop down up here, you see uh, the trailing two weeks right here. So by default, all those components inherit the dates at the top, unless you override it. Last, we're comparing it to just the previous row. In this case, the last week before that. Cash didn't actually change much the last couple of weeks. According to this variance, 0.1%, but we can even like tinker with this variance here. In this case, it's cash, so higher is better. But if we set the tolerance to uh, 0.05, now that 0.1 is green. Wow, much technology. Now, bunch more examples of similar stuff here, more scorecard components. Here's a net income scorecard, so I can grab any income or expense categories from the PL. I think this is comparing itself to a $0 net income period. Yeah, the last week it had $0. This is a demo file, so the data jumps around. But down here, look at how cool this visualization is. Cash movements by day. And it is a, it's not a scorecard type, it is a bar and line chart. Man, this visual would be helpful to so many of my clients. This would be really helpful. In fact, even just putting a visualization like this on a landing page of mine to say, hey, want some help week over week with cash advisory? Literally ripping off this view would probably win me some clients. I digress. So if I wanted to share this report with my clients, all I have to do is come up here, say publish live or publish a snapshot. Snapshot doesn't change. Live continues updating. As the ledger data changes, it keeps pushing that stuff in so your cash hole is always up to date. I'm gonna say publish live. Are you sure you wanna do this? I sure do. And then here's what the client sees. Look at that. Isn't that super clean? Do you want me to, can you see that? Let me zoom out. Let me see that. Look at that. Ooh, too small. Back in. That's nice, right? And because it's live flow, once I have a design that I like, I can run it, look at this, get out of here. I can run it with any ledger that I'm connected to. Change the period, change the accounting method, even run consolidations, which is wild. We won't dig into consolidations today, but you can use this to roll up different companies that don't even have the same chart of accounts. I'm like, you, huh, compare the amount of work to like building that stuff out in a spreadsheet. These reports could be a roll up of, I don't know, 20 companies, they actually say there's no limit on the number of companies you can consolidate. I don't believe them because everything has a limit. Like even numbers have a limit, right? Is that true? I think that's, the, I think so. Okay, two more examples I want to show you here because you may be thinking this is cool, but where do I start? And I think a logical place to start if we go back to templates is actually just a better version of financial statements. So here's a profit and loss dashboard, key metrics across the top, narrative insights from me down the left. I can pop in whatever I want here. Uh, zirconium tubes are hurting uh, inflatability. But this is a like a visual version of the profit and loss that may be a little more digestible for your board or for your clients. But importantly, this isn't locked down. Like I can go wild with this. That is actually my main gripe with reporting apps is there isn't a lot of customizability there. They're like, here's the reports that you can use. But with this Liveflow dashboards, here you can make these whatever you want them to be. In fact, realistically, probably start really small and then add to it over time. Now. I published to the client, looks great. Wowie, much polish, but actually check this out. Mm-hmm, on mobile, honestly, actually looks pretty good. In fact, I had some clients who always wanted stuff like over text, like people in the trades, that sort of thing. Something in a mobile friendly format, which 
I couldn't understand as an accountant I needed my full battle station. But even though that looks pretty darn good as is, I could even see myself building a template that's like simplified the client's maybe daily mobile update, or actually push a live report that's pulling data from the ledger in real time so the client can hop in there every morning and see fresh data. As long as the accounting system is up to date, I don't have to lift a finger. They can hop in and see that same report every single day. Man, my clients would eat that up. Okay, one more example I need to show you here. Another new dashboard from a template. By the way, uh, templates, LiveFlow, bless their hearts. They make killer templates that you can swipe so you don't have to reinvent the wheel from scratch. Especially when you're getting started, that can feel like a big lift, but they give you a great place to push the boat out. Is that what that expression means? Check out this template, advisory package construction. Let's say you work with a bunch of clients in an industry and you have this approach to advising that's more opinionated. You need to be looking out for X, Y, and Z each month. Look at this dashboard. You got a very cool executive summary here, but hang on, multi-dashboard alert. Look at this, key financial overview, projects and vendors, expenses, even a full profit and loss and balance sheet. Mom, you gotta see this. Statement of cash flows, and frankly, it's, it's already perfect in every way. So I'm just gonna publish this. If we look at the client view, got the tabs across the top. Look at this, all in like a single, tidy, unified view. Isn't that clean? And the power here is if I'm the advisor, I build this bad boy out. This is uh, my VIP Platinum Plus package. Cool, got this big, big fancy report. But when I come back out to my list of dashboards, I hit these wee three dots over here. Add to template library. Ready for this? See what's about to happen? Come over here to my templates. Boom! It needs a better name, but boom! I can use this with any of my clients now. It's as simple as coming in here, hitting the old dropy down, changing the client. And now when I make changes, to my template, those changes propagate through all the clients using that template. And that just, man, like that makes the notion of doing this for a bunch of clients so much easier because the alternative, uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of spreadsheets that are not connected, giving a bunch of people access to the client ledger directly, no thanks, bud. There's all sorts of scenarios where that is bad news bears. Maybe it's a member of your team who you only wanna have access to say advertising data. Maybe it's the board who you wanna give specific like, like a cross section of that data you want them to have access to, right? Maybe it's your clients who frankly have no business being in the accounting ledger because they just break things every time they do. Or, ah, ooh, maybe you're at like a user limit on your license for the accounting ledger for that you gotta go up to the next pricing tier. Shh, can't say that, we can't say that. No, 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 no. Honestly, very cool stuff. Head over to LiveFlow to learn more. Link down in the video description. I always try to give pricing on these. I wish I could give you a flat price to say what this will cost you. Honestly, LiveFlow shipped so much stuff in the last six months, from consolidations to dashboards to Excel support. I think it just, they like piece together what you need. And I wish it was easier than that right now, but I don't think it is. Thank you to LiveFlow for sponsoring this video. And I'm gonna link you a whole playlist of new tech for accountants. That's absolutely worth checking out. Really cool stuff like this. And you never know, one day you might just go outside. Wouldn't that be nice? No? Yeah, no, no, no. What? You can be right behind that battle station. Whether you got work to do or not, it's our home. It's a nice place to be.